All right, here is the gear for the alternator. It has a spring-loaded secondary gear up on top that takes out the backlash, and it takes quite a bit to, to move it. And you need to hold that in place while you assemble it. So there's different methods. One's Lewis pin. Um, I'm going to use a cotter pin. Okay, so here's the cotter pin. You got to make sure you squish the head of it pretty good because that head has to fit through the drain plug hole. So give it a little squish down in a vise. And then um, the cable, also squish that in the vise so that will thread up through the drain hole. What I did is thread this up first through the drain hole and then put the cotter pin on later. Cotter pin threaded on some cable and it comes out of the oil plug drain hole. The oil pan is still on. That's what the cotter pin looks like. I've spread it a bit to uh, give it a little more oomph right in the middle where it needs it. There. I had to drop it down at the bottom. Okay. New bolt. Longer than the old. These are the bolts. The 
eight by 70 millimeter. Finally, uh, here's the alternator cover. I had to trim it to fit. Try to leave as much there as possible. And that's what it ended up like. <laughs>